So, um, I did record this look today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause that. So, I did record this look today. I'm a little close to my mic. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, I did record this look today. I got myself some coffee while I was busy. Using my husband's nerdy cup. Um, but I wanted to share with you. Well, my cat goes nuts in the background. Now that I've kind of been wearing this look for a while, um, and I wore the other one for a full day, now that I've worn this one for almost a full day, I wanted to kind of go through and do like a little mini review of the Dollar Tree products because as I did a Dollar Tree haul, um, like way at the beginning of all of this, and then I did the natural look, and then I did this look, there are some products, because I didn't plan on doing this review, um, I planned on just, you know, doing the makeup and being kind of haha ha hee hee funny, laugh about it, but, sorry, I'm apparently addicted to water, um, as I've done the makeup, I, something happened that I didn't expect to happen, I actually really liked some of the products, and I didn't expect that to happen, I expected it to be like, eh, you know, whatever, but there are some of these products that I will, will definitely be making it into like my, maybe if not my daily routine, they'll be making it into my daily kit. Like I've been wearing this all day and I still have highlight to the stars. There are definitely some products that I will not be using again unless I have no other trust choice or unless I'm doing a different kind of Dollar Tree challenge, um, which I will keep them on hand till their expiration date because I don't just do my makeup, I do other people's makeup too. Sometimes I do my sister. Well, my sister's daughter, so like my niece's makeup, sometimes I do my sister's makeup, sometimes we're just playing. Um, also, just because they're not my shade doesn't mean they won't be useful. I also do like my family's makeup when it comes Halloween time. Um, so they might come in handy. So I'm not going to like just get rid of them because I feel like that would be a waste. So I will still try to use some of these. They just aren't going to get used like on a day-to-day -day basis. So... I have my bag with all of the products that were used, and let's kind of talk about them. Now the first thing, I'm going to grab my brushes over here. Um, the first thing that is definitely going to make it into my day-to-day -day use is my little squisher. This was, is actually amazing. I really like this squisher. I like that it's got the little clip to kind of keep put. It does pick up some makeup when you use it, but most squisher, squishers do. I'm sorry. It is uh, technically an eyelash curler. I like calling it a squisher. All of these brushes, so the, the low down on the brushes, this little kabuki brush thing that was by Sassy and Chic, throw it away. <laughs> don't use it. If you can get any other kabuki brush at Dollar Tree, don't use it. And if you can't, go to Walmart and get a dollar kabuki brush because I know Walmart has one for like one or two dollars they have a really nice one in walmart by elf that is like super soft and amazing um but don't use this 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 feels like stabbing your face it's it's not pleasant but these all of these wet and wild brushes i'm gonna keep um because they did really well and i have other wet and wild brushes i just didn't know you could get them from dollar tree so i'm gonna go ahead and put them back in their little spot so this kabuki brush garbage. Throw it away. Don't use it. I will not be using it again. That is the one thing that I'm going to be like, eh, no, nope, not worth it. Um, when I was recording this look and I put the lashes on, I told you guys I thought I was probably going to trim the lashes, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm really actually really happy with these lashes. Um, like, yeah, they're long, but they look really nice, especially on camera. And so, like, I might not wear them every day on a day-to-day, -day, but I will definitely keep them on hand for recording or for, like, more dramatic looks because they're a nice, full, lush set of lashes, which is why I picked up two of them. Because I was hoping I was going to like them, and I'm really glad I did like them. And as for the glue, I guess we're working kind of from the top of my face down. As for the glue that I used to put these on... It came in the uh, Sassy and Chic Lashes. I have not tried these ones yet. I am probably going to try these a little bit later. Um, but the glue that came with these is really good glue. Like, 
I have come in contact with steam. I've come in contact with cleaning. I've been doing, I came in contact with the rain. I've been doing a couple of things kind of just around my house today. And these lashes are like stuck on there. Like I would say this is as good. I want to say, well, yes, I know my watch is low. I want to say this is as good as the um, kiss lash glue that I normally use. So these are, this is really, really good glue. Definitely a glue that I will use until it runs out. I might even go get another set of these lashes just so I can have the glue because the glue is not like branded. Um, I don't need these, so I'm kind of getting rid of them. So next is two things that I will definitely be keeping on hand and using are the LA Colors highlights. I have it in Shine Bright and Glow Time. They are both amazing. Like they don't have the purple hint that I'm used to, but as you can tell, like I put this on earlier today and I've still got a really nice if I can get the light right, shine. Um, and I'm about, I probably, I'm not going to blind myself by like shining a light at my face, but it, it, it's, you can tell like just by turning my head, like that's my computer monitor shine and that's my nice light over there shine. So they're definitely, definitely good. So these are going into my day-to-day -day bag. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the yes stuff, the stuff that I really like first. Um, and then I'll go kind of with my maybes and then I'll go with my absolute nots. So we'll kind of go in that order. My next absolute yes that is going in my daily bag and I'm going to, every time I find them, I'm going to pick up more are these, Ooh, that made a whole lot of a mess. Okay. Are these Revlon color charge, like loose glitters right now I have it in holographic gold dust which is gold dust you guys and fuchsia so that's 106 104 and 102 these are all going in my everyday you guys these are so pretty so holographic like I was half tempted to use these as highlighter but I wanted to use them on my eye and they didn't crease like I have been wearing them all day and they have not creased, which really surprises me. And they're still there. The shine is still there. Now, granted, I did wear them over these, which these are my next yes, but we're going to go into those in a second. But these are definitely a yes. If you ever see the Revlon Color Charge Loose um, eyeshadow pigment, pick them up. They are amazing. They're amazing. Um, my next absolute yes is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow. It feels really weird when you put it on. It's really, really cold. I think there's possibly, I'm going to guess that's because there's some products in it that you don't necessarily want on your face. Yeah, it's because of the alcohol in it. There is alcohol in these, which makes them not the best for your face, but they work really, really well. So I would not recommend using them all the time, um, but once in a while, I think should be okay. Now, what's really amazing is these do not crease. I have worn all three of these shades and I've done like laughing. I laughed so hard I cried today and they are still stuck to my face. So that that's a positive. So these are another thing that's going to go in my uh, makeup case of stuff I use. I really like them. Um, next up is going to be these LA Colors lip liners. I was really surprised by these. Now guys, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth now. My current lip liner that I'm in love with is a, um, I think it, the brand is Genome. I'm not sure. I got it at Walgreens for my wedding and I fell in love with it so much that I've gone back and got it every time I run out of lip liner. But I think these I might use in because I know other stores around me that sell them. Um, I'll probably keep using them. Uh, they stay placed really well. They keep like everything in line where it belongs. Um, I got totally pinkish and peachy feels because they kind of match my lip. The pink, the totally pinkish is a bit pinker than my lip, but it goes really well when I'm wearing a pinker lip color or like today I'm wearing it underneath the lippy that I'm wearing. And I really like them. Um, they, they do their job. Lip liners are, it, it's kind of hard to mess up a lip liner. Um, the next product that I'm going to yes on and it's kind of a yes. It's like a, it's like a iffy yes. It's a, it's a yes, but a no. Um, so we're going, we're kind of getting into the, like the maybe products now. So we're on to the yes and the no's. Um, 
And then I've got some other products that need to be tested again later or tested later in general. So kind of the yeses and nos are like they're 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 good. They stay on well. Um, and I think the transfer like they're not transfer resistant are these LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousses. Uh, they do dry down matte. They're not sticky, um, but they do transfer. So like I wore this red one when I did the natural look. Um, and when I, when I ate, it went like all over my chin and all over my food. And then I kissed my husband. It was all over my husband. So it's, they are not transfer proof, you guys. Like even the one that I'm wearing, the silky, you can tell is, we're going to remember that, is all over my cup. Um, but so they stay well. And if you're like sipping out of a straw or if you're just drinking, I think they would definitely keep well. Just make sure throughout the day you have like a compact or a mirror so you can touch up um, and make sure you keep an eye on down here so that if you're eating something like super big or just like try to take small bites so that they don't go all over your face. So these will probably go in my kit because these are things that I will use again, maybe not super often, but they'll get used again. Um... Which is then leading us to, which one is it? This one. So I got two of these palettes. I got Sunflower and I got Water Lily. Now here's the thing. Sunflower, when I tried Sunflower, I was like, okay, eh, these are not good palettes. I don't like them. I don't like where they're going. No. Um, and so Sunflower more than likely will not get used again. Like I'll keep it on hand because these this middle color is um, kind of okay for like, if you need a blend out color, but you got to be really careful because <clears throat> as you blend it, it goes away. Now, Water Lily is more pigment packed, but it's also a shimmer. Now, with Water Lily, I found if I used my floofer brush, I could get it on pretty okay. Um, but again, as you blend it, it goes away. So if you're wanting just like a really, really light look, like if you want to do full glam without having to like layer up, you don't need it to be super pigmented. I don't think it'll stay very long, but if you just need it for like a quick half hour, this is okay. Um, the water lily one, this one, no, I would not use, I, I will prop more than likely. I will not use this again on my face. This one I might, because the colors are really nice. They've got really nice glitter to them. Nice shine. Um, but again, you can't blend them with anything. You can't really add anything to them because they blend literally off of your face. They just blend away. They just, they just go poof. They just run away. So like I will keep them on hand, but they're probably not going to get used a lot. These lashes are yes. I already said that, but I'm, I'm putting my yeses in one spot and my nose in another. Um, something that I need to test again is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Ink Metallic Liquid Liner. Um, it looks like it's got a brush, which I really thought it was going to, but it doesn't. It's got like a felt, it's, it's kind of like a felt tip. Here, I'll show you. It look, you think it's going to have a brush, but it doesn't. It has like one of those triangular felt tips, which I really like because that's the tip I prefer. Um, I did kind of want to try a brush, so I was a little bit let down that it wasn't a brush, but I'm not mad. The reason I say I need to try it again is because I, I like, I tried it on today and I think it just didn't work because of how vibrant and pigment packed my eyeshadow is. And because this is a metallic, when I put it on just my skin, you could really tell it was there. But when I tried to put it on top of the purple, as you can see, it's not as easily noticed. So that's one that I'm going to have to try again to be able to make a decision on. Um, the next one, this one I haven't tried yet. This is the LA Colors Tinted Lipstick. I will probably give this a shot in my, in one of my upcoming videos. I don't know which one yet. Um, I know I've got a drugstore video coming out. I might give this a shot in that video because I know LA Colors is technically drugstore makeup as well as Dollar Tree makeup because I've got stores around me that sell the LA Colors. Whether or not they sell this specific lipstick, I don't know. I might just kind of give it a try when I'm doing something else, depending on what I need a wine colored lipstick. Um, and so I'll kind of let you guys know how I feel about that after I've tried it. Uh, the next thing that is um, it's going to stick around. It, it's not like my first go-to, but I'm, I'm shocked. I'm not mad at it. Is the LA Colors Setting Spray. 
Um, I it, it's it has an interesting smell. Um, and what's really nice is there's no alcohol in it. There's no burning. It did keep my makeup in place. Um, it's got a really strong sprayer, guys. So when you spray it, like hold it arm's length away from your face. Um, so it's something that I'll keep. Probably not something I'll use all the time, but it's something that like if I was out of my other setting sprays, that's probably the first thing I would reach for. Um, and I actually, believe it or not, I like it better than my e.l.f. matting setting spray because it does, it, it, it the e.l.f. one has like a chemically smell. This one does not. I like this one better. Um, I do, of course, have my preferred, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, next up is going to be this little blusher. Um, I don't remember what brand this is. It was a Dollar Tree blusher. It was like a Benefits Beauty or something, Beauty Benefits. I'm pretty sure it's by the same brand that did this blush. Um, I used it as a contour. It worked pretty okay, but it's really, really hard to get, like, the, the pigment off of it. Um, like, I had to really, like, dig my brush in there to get product out of it. So that's more than likely going to be a no. One of those things that, like, I'll keep it on hand, but it's more than likely going to be a no. Um, the highlighter, it, it's not shiny like I like my highlighters to be. Um, it definitely works for, like, the opposition to the contour. And I know that was originally called the highlighter, so I'm going to have to, like, find a different way to differentiate that from the contour to the light color. Um, this one is, you, you pick up a lot of product really fast. Like I just barely had to touch my brush to this and I had product all over the place, all over my desk, all over everywhere. Um, again, it, it did its job. It's just not my favorite, but if you need like a highlighter, you need something that's a position to your contour or you want like a lighter shade that isn't necessarily super shiny. Like I like mine. Um, that would definitely, that's definitely a possibility. Again, it's, same brand that does this. I'm pretty sure it's like Beauty Benefits. This one was called like By the Pool or something. So I think they have like different lines because this one was supposed to be like a holiday one. Um, and then this one had like an around the pool thing. And then this was just their basic blusher. Speaking of which, moving on to their basic blusher. Um, it works. It's it's a nice soft shade. It's I might use it again. It's not necessarily my favorite. Um, I actually liked it better on my eyes than on my cheeks. Um, and I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's just because the brush picked it up and distributed it differently. Um, but I, I'm not mad at it. It's not the worst. Not the best, but not the worst. Um, next up is going to be this brow pencil, which is, again, LA Colors. Guys, like, almost everything I got was LA Colors because that's what my Dollar Tree had. Um, this one is in the shade Soft Brown. Uh, I do not like this little dude at the end. Like, I know you should be spooling your brows to make them, like, work and do what you want them to, but th this one I don't like. It's not a good one. No, no bueno. Bad brush. Um, the pencil itself, it does, it does an okay job. It's just not what I would consider a soft brown. It's more of what I would consider to be a medium brown. <clears throat> So again, it's something I'll keep on hand. So it's not my, it's not a yes, I love it, but it's not a, eh, it's not going in the trash. To be perfectly honest, there's probably only like two products that are going in the trash. One of them was that Kabuki brush. <clears throat> Next up is, I'm going to say, this LA Colors Compact. I used it on my other video. Um... it's compact it's it's not a good compact it makes you feel well it looked cakey on me um these two looked really cakey on me uh, granted I did have to use them together to make them work with the um cream that I was using that day um I'm gonna give you guys like a heads up in regards moving because we are moving on to the face products I don't know which one of these products it was um, I'm going to guess it was probably the primer that caused the problem that I had on my skin um, because it was the closest one to my skin and right after I put on the primer, I noticed the same situation. Now, when I did the natural look, um, my face was clear or predominantly clear um, when I started the video. 
And at the end of the day, when I took off my makeup, I had three new pimples. That is not normal for me. I have a whole skincare routine. I wash my face twice a day with very specific products. Um, as I've mentioned before, my favorite of everything is Mary Kay. I have a whole like skincare regime that regimen, whatever you want to call it, that I use. I am I am very proud of my skin, which is why I I have less of an issue of coming on bare faced. Um, but so for me to wake up with no pimples and go to bed after washing my face with three new pimples, I know that's not me. I know that's the product that I put on my face. Um, and so I don't know if it's this face primer, which also, by the way, gives you like a white cast on your face. Like I put it on when I started this video and it looked like I was wearing white clown makeup through the camera, but through my mirror, you, I looked paler but it didn't look like as white as it did on the camera. Now, for someone as pale as me to be able to say, this puts a white cast on your face, it, it's, it, it puts a white cast on your face. And considering this is supposed to be clear, it is not clear. Like I mixed this with the foundation I used today to make the foundation lighter. So my skin's probably gonna hate me tonight. Um, and the reason I was mentioning that I'm pretty sure it was this is because also 10 minutes after having this on, um, I started to get a pimple on the tip of my nose and it is right there. I am just wearing so much makeup. You hopefully can't see it. So this is not a thing I will be using on my face again, unless I have literally no other choice. Like if I end up doing another Dollar Tree challenge, if I have to. But it, I, it's not anything I will be reaching for anytime soon. It's going to go in like my backup case. And if I haven't used it in 12 months, because that's its expiration. If I haven't used this in 12 months, it's going in the garbage. Um, next, we're going to go to what goes right on top of the primer is the foundation. I use two different brands. So for the natural video, I use the Sassy and Chic BB Cream. And... Um, I, I was not a fan. I was not a fan. Granted, neither of these are my shade. They're not going to be my shade. I'm really light. There were no light products. I got creamy beige and medium one. Those were the lightest colors that my Dollar Tree had available. This says apply and blend with fingertips. That's what I did. I just, I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like the way it felt. It felt really heavy on my face, which in my experience, a BB cream and a CC cream are not supposed to do that. They're supposed to feel almost light, light weight. They're lightweight. They're supposed to like not feel like they're there. It's like a CC cream is pretty much a, a tinted moisturizer. Um, and this is a beauty benefit cream, which is why they call that. It has the BB, um, which is basically a really light coverage foundation. It definitely was a light coverage foundation. It just was not my favorite. It's just not a thing I will use. Again, I'll keep it on hand. And if I haven't used it by the time, oh, this one actually doesn't have a thing on it. Awesome. Oh, expiration 09 of 2021. Um, so if I haven't used it by the time its expiration hits, I will throw it out. Um, on the next step, and this was the Sassy and Chic. My, the one I used today with this look that I actually ended up mixing this because it was so far off of my shade uh, is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. Um, and this one also doesn't have an expiration date. Fun. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of presume that this has a... <sighs> We're just going to keep this on hand the same amount of time that we keep this on hand. By the time this goes, this will go if it's not been used. I probably won't use it again. Um unless I have to use it for Halloween or if I'm doing makeup on like my, my niece, she's got a darker skin tone than me. Um, it was okay coverage, not like full coverage. Like I was kind of hoping it would be when I mixed it with this, it definitely became full coverage. Um, but I also used a good couple of pumps. Like when I first got it, this black part was down here. And so I have used that much on just my face today because that's what I had to do to get it to cover like my face. And that was just like two pumps which shouldn't be a lot of product. So these are 
not things I will be reaching for anytime soon for my face. Um, if you do need a foundation and you're going to Dollar Tree, I would definitely, if you can find it in your shade, go with the LA Colors Liquid Makeup as opposed to the Sassy and Chic BB Cream. Because in my opinion, it, it works better. You get a little bit better coverage. Just try and get your shade. Um, next is going to be the Conceal and Correct. Now this... I'm not too mad at right now. You can't tell because, okay, if I turn my face this way, so I'm facing the light, um, one right here, you can kind of see the, I, my dark circles are minimized. Um, again, right here, you can tell my dark circles are minimized. It looks a little peachy because I didn't apply this prior to my foundation, which is what I should have with this. Um, and if I had done that with this, it would have blended a lot better. This is very, very peachy, but it's intended for dark circles. Um, I used it for a little bit of my contour, which is why my contour looks kind of peachy, and I used it under my eyes for my dark circles. I'm not mad at this. It's just not what I would reach to first. Um, it's got pretty good coverage. It, it a dabble do ya. I put like one dot under each eye and my dark circles were gone. Um, so other than it being as peachy as it is, I'm not mad at it. And again, that peachy could just be my skin tone. It could also be user error because I put it on after my foundation when for me I always put concealer on after foundation apparently when it's a color corrector you want to put it on before so that your foundation can kind of correct it uh, we already talked about this again not my favorite it looked cakey I am not using um, I used very minimal of this today um, I used just a little bit like right here to try and lighten up the area and then I gave up and used this so the LA colors finishing powder in light um, probably not a thing I will use again. It, not my favorite. It looked really cakey on my face. Um, whereas versus the LA Colors loose powder, if you have a choice between the two, go with the loose powder and then use a setting spray because the loose powder is not nearly as cakey. It gives you a much more like even application. Um, and I felt like it kind of blended in with my actual skin tone better. Um, I did use this over my cream makeup because something a lot of people may not necessarily know if you're using a cream makeup always powder it before you use powder makeup otherwise you're going to end up with streaky makeup um i couldn't find like a translucent powder so this is what i use to go with the glam look i really wish i would have used this on the naturals look too but i was trying to specifically save it for this look because i thought i was going to have to tone down the foundation which i was correct but this actually acted more like a translucent powder than a foundation powder so this is a thing that if I had to, I would reach for again. Um, my last two things that I have are, okay, I'm wrong. There's more going to be more than two things that go in the trash. This is the LA Colors <laughs> Dramatilash, um, which is funny because that's the name of the falsies I'm wearing is LA Colors. Dramatilash. The falsies are amazing. The mascara, don't do it. Just, just, I don't know if it's the kind. I don't know if it's because it's LA Colors. There were a couple other brands. I wanted to try this one um, because it was supposed to be dramatic. Um, I like the shape of the brush. As you can tell, it's got kind of an hourglass shaped brush. But I don't know what it is. I couldn't get it to apply product to my lashes at all. I tried. It took like dipping it and then like immediately going to my lashes and like wiggling and rubbing. And it took like three swipes to get it to start to even tint my lashes on the natural look because I wasn't wearing lashes on the natural look. I'm only wearing it on my lower lashes and you can kind of see it on this one and you can see it right there on this one, right there. That's the only spot you can see it. And I swiped my lower lashes quite frequently. So this one is going in the trash. It, it's not worth it. I granted, I know it's got a six month thing. Really, you should be throwing out your mascara every three months because of the bacteria in your eye. This doesn't have enough of a benefit, in my opinion, for me to keep it. The brush is nice, but that's about it. And I have so many spoolies and you can get spoolies anywhere. If you need a mascara, um, again, and you've got a Walmart nearby. Go to Walmart, get one of their dollar mascaras. Wet n Wild has a lot of 
inexpensive mascaras. Elf has some inexpensive mascaras. Don't use this. Even if you're going to Dollar Tree, pick a different mascara. Like, I know it's supposed to be dramatic volume. It doesn't do anything it says it does. It, it doesn't do anything it says it does. Um, I wish I would have picked a different one. I didn't. This is going in the trash. Trash. Right there. Trash. The last thing that was out of my haul, it's not technically makeup, but as I told you in the Dollar Tree haul, I was going to try it. I did try it. I don't like it. <laughs> um, what it is, is it's the LA Colors Lip Scrub. I am adamant about using lip scrubs. Now, first thing, my first use, it broke off and I actually had to put it back in the tube. I followed the instructions when I used it. This isn't a lip scrub. Like, it, it wasn't too abrasive. Like, there was no abrasion at all. There was, like, night, like no scrub at all. It smells nice. It tastes nice. It actually just kind of reminds me of a chapstick, but it says to rinse it off. So I don't think it's safe to leave it on your lips. Now, granted, I'm not a chapstick user. Um, I do use my Shea Balm by, Mutter, by Mary Kay. Uh, it's a Shea Butter Balm, and I use it in tangent with the Mary Kay Shea Sugar Scrub. I don't use chapsticks because of things that I've learned about chapsticks, which I might share with you guys in a little bit later video. Let me know if you care to hear about that. This is kind of like what, this kind of reminds me of like getting a little girl a lip scrub to kind of teach her about it, but it's not actually going to do anything. It, it doesn't scrub your lips. It doesn't take off any of the dead skin. It didn't even moisturize my lips. It just kind of left a film, which was really unpleasant. Um, it's got like, and, and what's weird is it's got like little specks in it. So you would think that there would be, and like, if you put it on your finger, you can kind of sort of feel it, but like, just, just, I just applied it to my finger. There's nothing. It's pretty much a chapstick with like teeny tiny microscopic bits of sugar in it. So it's like a candy stick. Not useful. Going in the garbage. Smells great. Not useful. Going in the garbage. Um, and then the last thing, because I completely forgot about this thing because it's clear and I just don't like it so much. Um, this thing. This thing. Like, I want to puncture it with my nails. That's how angry I am at this. It's the Swispers. It's like a latex. It's supposed to be a beauty blender. It doesn't blend your beauty. Um, it says it's supposed to, like, use less product, but, like, it got... It, it created a film on itself of the product. Like, it's fun to play with. Like, it's a great little stress ball, but I'm honestly afraid that if you squeeze it too much, you're going to puncture it. Um, so I might keep it for, like, a stress ball or, like, to work out my wrists and my hands because sometimes I have to wear a cast because it's not something you care about. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's not arthritis. It's... I think it's, like, tendonitis maybe. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. All I know is sometimes I have a stupid cast that I have to wear because I've got, like muscles and nerves right in here that get real pissed off um and working out my hand is supposed to help with that so if you're looking at this just either just use your fingers or get the cosmetic wedges um i didn't end up using the wedges on any of the looks that i did because my fingers did the job but this thing don't 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 waste your money on it guys it, it doesn't do anything for your makeup it just like smears it around it literally smears it around don't do it um so on that note that's my last don't do it i'm not gonna throw it away because it makes a guy like a nice little stress squeegee squeezy thing so i'll probably keep it not for its intended purpose um or just to kind of see like if i can puncture it with my nail because I'm, I'm a little bit curious but it will never be used on my face again so those are the products that got used in the last two videos. I will link both of the videos somewhere in this video um, is the full glam and then the more natural. So I hope this helped you. I hope you learned a little bit. I definitely learned a little bit. There's definitely some products that I'm going to go back and get again. Um, and there are definitely some products that will not ever touch my face again. So we'll, you know, we'll kind of see where we go with it. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know what some of your favorites did. Like, I missed something. Is there something that maybe could have done better? Like, let me know. And so on that note, you guys, 
I think that is everything. And then, of course, my mirror. My mirror is magical. It fits, like, my face. It fits all of my face, and it's got this really pretty design on the back. It's got kind of, like, flowers and curly cues, so this is definitely a thing. Um, and at my Dollar Tree had it, I guess, in blue and green and black and white. I don't hardly ever do white <laughs> anything because I'm so petrified of staining it. And it was like a bright, bright green, which I'm not a huge fan of. So for me, it was like the baby blue or the black. And the black is just kind of more my aesthetic sometimes. Um, most of the time, I don't know. My aesthetic goes like from bright, 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 pretty princess to like black, 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 black. So it'll, it'll be a thing. Let me know what you guys thought of this down below. Let me know if what you thought of the other makeup looks. If you haven't seen them yet, go see them. Um, I'll link them in the video. I'll link them here. And so on that note, hashtag be happy. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope everybody's doing okay out there and what's going on. Um, hopefully this alleviated some boredom for you and maybe gave you a little bit of education about some products. Uh, be kind to one another, be the change you want to see in the world. And remember, as always, especially during now, a smile is infectious. So have a beautiful night and I'll see you guys later. Bye.